The purpose of this show, the of this show is to guide you to realign, to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Ewing. This is the habit-based lifestyle Where you can access your full potential right now Finally break free from destructive habits That dream life, if you want it, you can have it This is where you transform your health Mind, business, and relationships Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place This is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast With, with, with your host, Jesse Yule This is this, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle. Let's go. Welcome back to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Yule, and today we're going to be talking about being motivated. One of the questions that I get asked probably more than any other question is, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay motivated for your workouts? How do you stay motivated to work? How do you stay motivated to you know, show up for your wife and kids. And and one of the things that I wanted to speak from today is, is specifically, you know, working out. And I think there's this misconception of people who consistently do things. Uh, that means that they're motivated. And, and I look often at, you know, pro athletes, you know, business people who are very successful, guys like Tony Robbins, guys like Ed Milet or, or many of the mentors that you see in, in one of the things that, that is a commonality between all of them is, you know, very rarely do they ever talk about motivation uh, unless it's in a context of, Hey, you don't have to be motivated to do this. But what I, what I, you do see is a commitment and a consistency to show up every single day to show up every single opportunity they have. And, you know, in in a lot of ways, you can see many of these people show up online, whether it be through posting content, whether it be through through videos, no matter what it is, what you have the ability to see is see them consistently committed to whatever they're doing. And And I also think about the same context of, you know, how do you know someone's motivated? You really don't unless you ask them. And I would say this, you know, most days when I wake up, I am not motivated. Most days when I wake up, I don't usually feel like working out. I don't usually feel like getting out of bed. Now, that's not to say that, you know, I don't want to. It's just, hey, I, my my first thing is not always like, oh, I got to get to the gym. But what what happens is this: most days when I wake up, you know, maybe I don't feel like working out. Maybe I don't feel like getting out of bed. Um, but one thing that I have consistently done, and and really thought about is this: you know, out of seven days a week. I, th- I think maybe I would feel like working out maybe one or two of those days to where I'm like, man, I feel amazing. I'm just going to get up out of bed and go work out. But in doing that, I think about, you know, the the athlete who is a baseball player and maybe he goes up to bat, you know, 10 times and he strikes out or, or he misses seven times. And this is an elite. This is considered an elite baseball player. And that means that out of those 10 at-bats, he's missed getting on base or maybe getting a hit seven of those 10 times. That means he's failed seven of those 10 times. But that is considered an elite baseball player. And you could think about this in the same context of someone who someone who is like a basketball player, maybe he shoots 30 to 40%. That is someone who's probably making you know, 15 to $20 million a year. And so think about this is I think the, the biggest myth inside of motivation is that you actually have to be motivated to do something that you actually have to be motivated to show up to your workout, that you actually have to be motivated to get out of bed, that you actually have to be motivated to go to work. 
that you actually have to be motivated to change your marriage. And, and the one thing I want to point out is motivation is a feeling. Motivation is a feeling. It's, and it, it's an emotion. And if you're waiting for that to drive you to do something, you're going to be waiting a long time. You know, and I think back to, you know, my years as an athlete, even when I did bodybuilding, I can remember going through seasons of motivation. You know, it's like training up for a competition, training up for a season. Those oftentimes were when I was motivated the most. Those were often times where it was like I knew exactly what I was doing, but in the off season or in other seasons, I didn't I rarely felt like doing anything. And I think of today, you know, you have guys doing these these challenges. I can even think of myself and I'm looking at uh, an event I did July of 2016. And actually today is July 20th, 2020. Four years ago, almost to the day, I'm looking at a, a big picture in my office that says Kokoro 44. And I think of my motivation it was the highest when I actually had a challenge at the end of you know my training. My motivation was the highest when I was training for something. But when that training goes away, this is where I think a lot of people who used to be athletes struggle or even athletes might struggle in the off season because they're not preparing for anything except life. And now, now that's a huge thing in itself. But think about this for a second is when I'm preparing for life, there's a different context because it's like, how do I know I'm winning? What's the finish line look like? What award might I get besides yeah, money in the bank account, something like that. But I, I want to bring this back to you know, a lifestyle, a lifestyle is not a competition. A lifestyle doesn't end. It doesn't have a finish line. A lifestyle is a standard, a way of living, a way of operating. And it's a set discipline. It's a set, you know, cons commitment. It's a set consistency. And, and the reason why I created habit-based lifestyle is because this is a standard of living that I have committed to for nearly three decades. Three decades, I have consistently more than anything showed up in a workout. I've consistently more than anything taken care of my health. But in doing so, I have been able to sidestep motivation or at least not pay attention to how motivated I feel when I wake up, how motivated I feel before I work out, what I focused on and what I've committed to is just being consistent. I have trained myself to not necessarily be motivated. I've trained myself to show up with a commitment of consistency. I've trained myself to show up every single day, no matter how I felt when I waked up, when I woke up, no matter how I felt, you know, before doing something, I've said yes when my mind said no. Because here's the thing is your mind, my mind is a liar. And one of the things that I think we miss out on in life is, is learning to train to fail. See, I failed at waking up. I failed at showing up as a husband. I failed at working out. I failed at, you know, being a father. I failed at business. I failed at things inside of each of those areas. But the one thing I never failed at was quitting, giving up. And does that mean that I've never quit or does that mean that I've never given up? There's been times when I have felt like it. There's been times where I've quit. Times in your life when you want to quit, such as a workout, when you want to quit, you know, a, a business or something like that, but you you may have gotten rid of that business or sold that business, but you moved on to a new one. You may have failed or quit in that workout, but you continued to go back and show up the next day. And so when I say I've never quit, 
What I mean by that is I've never actually stopped doing, you know, a workout for three decades. I've never stopped taking care of my health for three decades. I've never stopped working on growing and getting myself better. And so many of these things, this, the thing that separates the motivation from the commitment is motivation is a feeling, a commitment is not. A commitment is not a feeling, it's an action. Consistency is not a feeling, it's an action of showing up every single time. And I think the difference between these two things is a feeling is not always an action. A feeling is not an action. And an action is not a feeling. It can have a feeling, but it's not a feeling. And I think that's the maybe the biggest thing that we could miss inside of this is Feelings are not actions. Actions are not feelings. And so when I look at this is being elite, being consistent, being committed means we must train ourselves to move forward, to not quit, to not give up in spite of our feelings, in spite of our emotions. And it requires us to do training. It requires us to do shit when our mind says no. It requires us to say yes when everything else will tell us no. And we have to learn to battle our own mind. We have to learn to overcome the feelings and emotions that we might have to continue to be committed, to continue to be consistent. This is what a lifestyle is about. It's not a motivation method. You know, it's not a a program you do for 75 days. It's not a program you do for 90 days. It's a lifestyle. And when you commit to living a lifestyle, you're committed to living a standard. It's not a temporary solution. And so motivation will rarely be there. Motivation may get you started. At least that's what they say. But do you think that I really care how I feel when I wake up? See, I already know that my mind is going to tell me something that's not true. And so when you get into doing something and when you commit to doing something, stop looking for a feeling to motivate you. Stop looking for a feeling of wanting to do something. Because motivation is for the uncommitted. Motivation is for the inconsistent. That's when you need it the most. And so the most important piece of this is motivation is not going to get you the results you want. Being committed and being consistent is. Those are the two things. And being okay with making mistakes, being okay with not waking up, being okay with not being perfect. But inside of commitment and inside of being consistent, there is no room for perfection. You're not going to be perfect. But in doing this, this will give you the results that you actually want in your life. So stop looking for motivation. Stop looking for the feeling of motivation and learn to understand what it truly means to be committed, what it truly means to be consistent. And you will make it farther than you've ever made it in your life. So I want to thank you guys for being on here today. If you have any questions or you want to dive deeper into this topic, leave me some feedback and let's do this. Uh, if you have any questions, concern, comments, feel free to reach out to me, jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day. The purpose of this show, the purpose of this show. is to guide you to realign. With habits that get you to live the life, live the life. you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse.